Oh, the shirt. <gasps> Woo! Race day, baby! First race day, 2019! There it is. Let's go! Let's see. When it's all about the race, no turning back, too late. All right, thank you. Cookie Chase 5K. We got it. All right, on a cool down with Joseph. How you doing? Good. Good. What, what, what place did uh, Papa get? First. First. Got the, got the W. Got the W in the 5K. I'll tell you the time here in a minute. Oh man, good die. That's a good, good way to start the season. What's that? I think we should head back. Okay, let's head back. Here we go. Got the good cookies. Here's your overall winner. Set the morning, 1533. Oh, female, 20 to 24. First place, Nyla Chamberlain from Golden in 20, 07. Second place, Haley. Haley Paez from Winnetka, 21.52. And third, Aaron Berg from Littleton in 23.02. All right, everybody, we got we got Ryan here. Awesome, Ryan, how'd you do today? Oh, pretty good. Yeah. So good. Ryan found the channel, what, how, how long ago? At least like a week or two, maybe. Uh, okay. Or more. So he's a newer subscriber. Thanks for subscribing. Yes. Awesome job today. Thanks for coming up and saying hello. Thank you. It's good times, man. Well, are you doing any other races this spring? Good job, you guys. That's like snowboarding. Yeah. It's it's a good day. It's a good day. Cookie Chase 5K. Inaugural year. Come back next year. Fly the W, Michael. Fly the W. I think that's what the Chicago Cubs say after they win. <laughs> Fly. I know they don't win. They don't win too much. So he gotta that's celebrate. <laughs> yeah. True love's from Chicago. Oh my my! Wow.
crushed it. Nothing like a little steak after a hard, solid effort. And uh, that was the Rust Buster for 2019. And yes, I think it's good to have goals at the beginning of the new year. Goal number five. Goal number five. I want to. This is a, a carryover again from 2018. Win another race. I like. I, I like it. That that's that was a good incentive for me to train hard in 2018. So that's going to be another one. I was able to pull it off once in 2018, and I want to try it again in 2019. That's right. At the beginning of 2019, I laid out six running goals, and one of them was to win a race. It's nice to get that one out of the way. Just nice to get it out of the way. All right. The last time I raced a 5K was up in Greeley. Colorado four to five months ago. Crazy. It was November. Tw I went back and looked on Strava just a minute ago. November 22nd, 2018, and I ran 1556. So today, managed to pull out a 1533. So this is good. A 23 second drop in time. And uh, it's not like, it's not a huge drop, but that's seven, if you do the math, that's about seven seconds per mile. That is not bad. We will take it. Considering again that you know how I, I'm not uh, that excited about doing speed work on the track. So we're just getting those legs slowly going in 2019. And I do just want to make a quick shout out to Ryan, to Dave, to Tim, to Rod, everybody that came up and said hello afterward. That was awesome. Thanks for saying hello. And a shout out to everyone on Strava. You guys are amazing. Thank you for all the support there. Okay. And so how did the race actually play out today? It was awesome. So I don't know. I haven't even looked at the race footage yet, so I have no clue what it looks like, but I just shot shot out to the front right from the gun and a little little tip of the day use if you're in the lead use the the pace bike the the lead bike as a pacer just try and chase down that bike that's basically what I was doing shout out to Brett thank you Brett for uh, some of those clips today and yes I was just trying to chase down that bike the whole way uh, basically I took it out and it's an honest course it's rolly it's not hilly but it's like it's got a few little rollers in it so it's not completely flat and um, according to to my watch and according to Strava I don't know if this is accurate it said I had an, a 195 RPM so that's the the cadence of your feet and that seems a little high to me I have an older Sun 2 watch um, but anyway one of my goals for today was to have my RPMs as high as possible so I would say that I met that goal usually I don't know it seems a little high I, I you know who knows with technology sometimes but that was a good thing and basically at the two and a half mile mark so a half mile to go that's where I you know that's basically the point where I was like okay I gotta start digging because it was starting to hurt right around the two and a half mile mark up until then though I felt pretty strong um, I guess I should tell you the splits okay so the splits were 449 456 454 and then held that 450 poor, 454 right through the finish line. So that's good. I mean, that's about where I expected to be. I knew in my mind I wanted to be running faster than last fall. So that was a mission accomplished. And what's interesting, in two days from today, so Tuesday, I'm going back to that same park and I'm doing my nine, the next threshold run. So it's been two weeks. And the goal for that nine mile threshold will be to, ba to basically hold my Cleveland Marathon race pace goal. So 518 to 5 20 right in that window and outside of those splits that I just shared I don't have too much else to share with you about the race except I'm gonna be really excited to see what my forms look like I'm gonna go back inside in a minute upload the footage to the computer and just kind of study like okay are my knees driving well are my arms like staying straight forward as opposed to crossing the body too much uh, look at my foot strike as much as possible so that'll be good and speaking of foot strike shall we talk for a second about the Reebok float ride run fast pros how did they do today as you know this is a three ounce shoe three ounce shoe with a three millimeter drop not a six millimeter three millimeter drop and a very very lightweight shoe what is my takeaway and a shout out to someone one person so yesterday i posted a picture on instagram and then also on snapchat of my my kit for the the race today so what was i gonna wear my singlet my half tights my shoes and somebody noticed no socks. That's right. I decided to pull an old school move. I haven't worn, uh, it's been since college, since I went sock free in a race. And uh, I got a little tiny blister on the top of one of my toes, nothing major. You can actually see a little a little bit of blood there, a little uh, carnage from the race. It's, it's going to be fine. But um, they felt good with no socks. I like 
For short races, I do like going sockless. And here is my takeaway about the shoes from today's race. At 4.55 approximately per mile, 4.52-ish, I didn't even notice the shoes were there. And it's, it's like, if in a longer race you can settle in a little bit, even a 10K, but especially a half marathon marathon, you kind of settle in a little bit, you start to think a little bit about more things in life, and maybe you think about the shoes in a longer race. Well, today, it's such a short race, they didn't even cross my mind. Like, I didn't, it didn't even dawn on me to think about my feet, and honestly, I think that is a good sign, meaning they were not a distraction and there was no like major, okay, these shoes are helping me go really, really fast, nor, okay, these shoes are not working at all. Like it just, I didn't even think about them. And that's probably because they weigh three ounces, so you don't even know they're there on your feet. Uh, but at the same time, I didn't feel an incredible energy return. It was just me and the road just digging, just digging. Um, so that's like, that's my takeaway from the Reebok Float Ride Run Fast Pros is they felt, they felt good. They felt great, but I didn't even, that didn't even cross my mind. So I'm not going to even apologize about that. That's what racing is all about. Focus on the task at hand. And when I take these out for my next workout, uh, whenever I choose to use these in the next workout, I will be thinking more about how they are performing. So that's my thought on the Rebox. Okay, moving on. Keyword is going to be Rust. That's right. Rust. Why rust? Because this was a rust buster for 2019, my first race of the year. It's very exciting. And the question of the day, did you race this weekend or did you do a long run? How was your race or long run this past weekend? Let us know the distance. How did it go for you? Where did you race? Uh, where did you do your long run? Was it extra hard? Did you feel strong? Did you feel a little weak? That's okay too. So let us know how your weekend uh, racing and or long run went. That would be awesome. Let us know down below and uh, good solid day. It's good to start the season off on the right track. Seek beauty, work hard, ooh, work hard. And again, thanks for everyone uh, out there that came up to me and said hello. That was a lot of fun. And love each other. Woo! Woo! W, W. See you tomorrow.